And we said, what do our patients want? They want us to be open. We were open seven to seven. We were open six days a week. We gave away stuff like free whitening. Inside of 36 months, we'd already built three practices that were averaging four, five, or six million dollars a year. And this is 36 months out of dental school for you. 36 months out of dental school. Yeah. So how, what were you doing to get so much? Because there's, there's just a learning curve when it comes to any business, but uh, you know, obviously dental too. Like, how did you go to having you know 36 months? What did you say? Three practices doing how much in revenue? Uh, 12 million total revenue across three locations. So okay. one was like at six, one was like at five, and then do the math on the third one. You know. So yeah, how, how did you guys do that? Um, you know what we did, Austin, like this was a beginning of transition in the information age where answers are out there, right? Like this was the beginning of information age dental practice operation. There are answers. You don't just have to go hang a shingle and, hey son, go out there and figure it out on your own. That's what like the, that's what like the older dentists would tell me they did. They're like, well, I just I hung my shingle, my sign with my name on it and I figured it out. I don't have to do that crap. I don't have to do that because I have the information age to give me information. So I studied it all through dental school. I read like every forum on business and everything on dental town when it was cool, like in all the different places in the world. I went, I, I did $30,000 of CE while I was in, while I was in dental school and doing residencies. So I was trying mm -hmm. to figure out how to optimize and the key, I mean, listen, our world knows this right now, but you give your customers what they want and you find out a way to say yes. Everybody else in the dental industry was just doing such a great job of saying no to people. No, we will right. not. Like trying to go from five days to four days to three days to two days of practicing. It's like you crazy. got it. You got it. So we took the opposite approach. We said, what do our patients want? They want us to be open. We were open seven to seven. We were open six days a week. We gave away stuff like free whitening, which had no incremental cost for us. Like we did everything philosophically to say yes to our patients. Like, and so... You know, that was actually, if there was one principle, what we looked for inside of our practice is we had meetings. Okay, where have we said no to patients this week? 